Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So, early in the morning or late in the night, wherever you want to call it, the new Gamma case has dropped in CSGO. And it's probably one of the biggest cases that we've seen so far because of the knives. These are the new knives. There's six of them. They're not just the uh, gut knives. It's just the skins. But they look pretty fantastic. Not gonna lie. My favorite is probably the lore, obviously, without the dragon, just the lore. Those are probably gonna be worth the most. This is nice too. The uh, kind of the Mahati pattern on the P250. Uh, Brightwater is not that great. Black laminate's all right. That's pretty cool. It's like a futuristic feel. And then of course we have the green one because we have the red sapphire and the blue sapphire. So now we have the green emerald. But that's the actual knives of the collection, which you can get on every single knife, not just for the gut knives, as I said before. But I just want to put out a disclaimer, this is not a case opening, this is just an informational video. If you want to go check out a case opening, I'll leave Anomalies link in the description, as well as Chawboy. They did some pretty cool case openings that you can check out. <laughs> so guys, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first case we got, the first case, the first weapon that we have once it comes to the main menu is the M4A1S Mecha Industries, created by Cody37. Um... M4A1S has a reputation for having, like, mm, okay skins, in my opinion. At least in my world, it has a reputation for that. This is, again, pretty plain. It's nothing special. It's not like... It, it kind of reminds me of the Cyrex. Uh, so that's just another Cyrex in my world. Again, really plain. Futuristic feel. Obviously, it's an 80s theme case, so that's what you're going to get. So that's the M4A1S Mecha Industries. Then we have probably one of my favorite guns in the collection, which is the Glock 18 Wasteland Rebel. Again, I'm very surprised it's a red, but then again, it is it is a Wasteland Rebel, so the AK-47 Wasteland Rebel is a red, so we would expect the Glock 18 to be a red as well. So there it is, Glock 18 Wasteland Rebel, created by SA underscore 22. Very, very nice gun. I'll be looking forward to picking that up in the near future. Then we have the first pink of the case, which is the P2000 Imperial Dragon, created by the Honey Badger. Again, another very, very nice P2000 skin. We have the, the water, the fire elemental, which I think is really, really nice. And this also goes with that. So, Imperial Dragon, P2000. Following, we have the Car uh, Scar 20 uh, Bloodsport, which I think is my favorite. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a little allergies this morning. Uh, I think it's my uh, one of my favorites. Top three in the case, definitely. I just think it's a really, really nice scar skin. Uh, we don't have many, too many nice scar skins. We only have this, and I would say the Cardiac, which I have now. I'm rocking that now. But once this goes down in price, I'm definitely gonna be interested in picking it up because this is a very, very nice skin. And this was created by Slimeface and Sapphire. Sapphire. I'm pronouncing that name very, very wrong. But there it is. Next up, we have the number one. I personally, I think this is the, my number one pick. It's the M4A4 Desolate Space. It's been on every one's number one pick. Um, created by Andy and Dry Doctor Egg. Very, very nice. If if I have the ability to get this, probably for around maybe ten dollars in the near future, I'll definitely pick it up for like minimal wear. But I doubt it's going to be that low. So there you guys go. This is the Desolate Space M4A4. Probably my number one ca uh, weapon in this case drop. Uh, then we have the op of the case drop, which is the op Phobos, created by Apel7. Uh, it's alright, it's not the nicest looking op. Uh, it's very like alien feel, it's got like an alien feel going, but that's what that is. Then we have the actual R8 revolver, which I'm really really surprised they did a uh, R8 revolver in this case. And it's called the reboot, created by G-99F and, oh, G-99F factory and RR3, so there's that. It's not a bad looking skin in all honesty, but the revolver sucks, so I don't think anyone's going to be using that skin. It's a purple. <laughs> then we have the uh, uh, Augeristocrat, created by T.E.O. or T.O. Uh, it's okay. It kind of looks like the Op Man of War, and like the Negev Man of War has that feel going for it. But again, again it's an Aug, and not many people, not many people use it, so that's going to be cheap. Uh, we're getting into the last bit of the purples. We have the Sawed Off, li uh, sawed off Limelight, uh, created by HyperX Sensei. Um, it kind of has like a, like an energy drink feel to it, or like a Nike football shoe feel to it. Soccer shoe, that is, not the foot, the EU, EU soccer. EU football, that's better. I, I like that better. But that's what it has going for it. I don't know, it just looks like a lot like that. 
Uh, again, sawed off, not many people use it, so I'm not, I'm not too excited about it. Then we have the P90 Chopper, which is actually really nice looking. It has like a, like a, I don't even know what kind of, again, this reminds me of like an alien feel for some reason, getting like an alien feel from it. But it was created by Ego Death, and I think, yeah, I did read it, okay. This was created by Ego Death. Again, pretty nice P90 skin. It is purple, so it might be go for a little money, say like three or four dollars, well, when it like slows down and kind of evens out. But I'll definitely be looking into picking that up because I do need another P90 skin. So I'm actually quite interested in that. So we'll see about getting that. It's, it's got a nice feel to it, I don't know, I'll say. <laughs> and finally, we're starting to get into the blues. The first blue we have is the 5.7 Violet Damio, created by the Honey Badger. So we have two guns that got created by the Honey Badger. Good job for him. Uh, honestly, this is actually a really nice uh, 5 7 skin. It has like a Transformers theme going, like a uh, uh, Decepticon feel to it. Um, like an 80s Decepticon feel. But you see like a samurai there, so it's a little bit, you know, confusing. But I really, really like it. Uh, I do not need another 5 7 skin, so if I can get it for like under a dollar, I might do it. But other than that, there's no point for it for me. But it's uh, overall really nice skin. Uh, then we have the P250 Ironclad, created by G99F Factory. I think that we started, heard that name again. Uh, not too much going on here, but again, it is a blue, and it's named after the Ironclad, so that's pretty cool. It has like that Ironclad feel, so I mean, it has a theme going, which I kind of like. So overall, quite nice for a blue. Uh, then we have, the, of course, the Nova XO, created by SHPR. I mean, it's a Nova, like a little pattern going on. Quite nice for a blue. Uh, PP Bison Harvester created by G9 and a factory. So there it is again PP9 har uh, name and we have the PP Bison Harvester uh, Pretty plain skin in my opinion. I don't see any designs going. It just looks a little bit rustic So we're gonna move on. It's kind of probably the worst blue in this collection Then we have the Mac 10 Carnivore created by Gent which my brother said kind of reminded him of Jurassic Park because of the uh, Kind of the red camo pattern Carnivore Jurassic Park feel, you know the movie that was a good movie Anyway, kind of matches the theme case. I kind of like it, honestly, but I don't need another Mac 10 skin, so I'm probably not going to be getting it. But overall, really nice. And I'm pretty sure we're back. Nope, we're not back. We're not back for a while. Okay. So then we have the Tech 9 Ice Cap, which is not a bad looking skin, but I'm kind of pissed off that they don't um, incorporate the bottom half of the gun into the, into the actual camouflage design. But overall, the Ice Cap's kind of a really nice looking skin. Kind of reminds me of the Avalanche a little bit. <laughs> Moving on, we have the uh, SG553 Aerial. Oh, wait. The uh, Ice Cap was created by Nordcrisp. And the Aerial was created by Slimeface. So the Aerial uh, really, really reminds me of the Atlas from the Chroma 3 case. But I really dislike using the SG553. So I'm, I'm really not even looking forward to even looking at the skin any further. But it's all right for a blue, I guess. Finally, we're moving into the new knives. We have the Dragon Lore Finish. The, the Lore Finish on the uh, bayonet or the M9 bayonet. So there's the first knife. Then we have, of course, the new finished black laminate, which I was going over at the top. The uh, autotronic, which has like that Transformers feel of the Chroma 3 k like the overall the Chroma 3 case. Has that kind of, oh, has, actually has the feel of that, um, what was it, the CZ, not the CZ, what, what weapon is it? It's the uh, automatic pistol. That's what it has the feel. I forget what it's called, but I'll put a picture up on it. But that's what it looks like a lot. Um, but Brightwater, of course, not the nicest on the... It's alright. This, I really, really like for some reason, the freehand. I really, really like that. This is a really nice tribal design going. Then we have the Gamma Doppler, which is the actual case Gamma. But it goes with the obvious Sapphire and the Ruby. And that's it guys, we're back, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, uh, leave a comment down below, and I'll have a conversation with you. Um, other than that, have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm very, very excited to bring you patch 1.59 that dropped in War Thunder today, Thursday, June 9th. And with the patch comes many, many new features, as well as probably one of the biggest features changed in the garage area. Uh, you know, you get the basic new vehicles in every patch, but this patch actually changed not only the vehicles, as I said, but the garage area as well. So as you can see, we 